because this was such a success when we did the first episode, I, I might as well do it on live stream because it, it'll make it even more funny. It's Perry Young hopefully going to a 99 overall. I mean, it sounds impossible. Someone's already brought him to a 91 overall. I'll show that tweet on screen. I mean, congratulations to that guy. I, your name slips my mind, but congratulations to you. I'll put your name on the screen as well so everybody can say well done and give you a round of applause. But here we are in January 2017. They got Perry Young. Where's Perry Young? What's he doing? Squad report. He's out on loan at the moment and he's out on loan at Carlisle United. Of course, he was stuck at £230,000. He's gone up eight overall. Because he's not 60 overall yet, we won't have a status on him anyway. Whatever, we just need to get him to 60 overall, don't we? There's going to be a lot of reloading here, guys. So get ready. There it is. We need him to go above 230,000, and that's a very big drop down to 180. In hype, Perry the Greatest. I watched the highlight show on Channel 5, and apparently, because Perry Young got sends off, the guy who was commentating called him Perry NG. He, he's definitely not NG. How did that guy do it? Got Perry Young to a potential to be special. I want to know how he did it step by step. I don't have a clue how to get someone of this low overall to something quite extraordinary. Should I even train him? Because if I don't train him, then maybe his strength goes up. Perry and right, he's going up in strength, that's great. So we're just going to hold on here and wait until he becomes a 60 overall, which he should do when turning into the new season. Hopefully by then, we'll be able to get a, a proper understanding on where he is. And if we can't, then it's a reload job. It's still 59, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna train him up a little bit before the turn of the new season. It's amazing how many people are just interested, like really interested in watching us try our very best to break the game so much that we get someone with probably a potential of about 65 max to 99. It's amazing. <laughs> Just because he's Perry Young. Yes, 60 overall. Excellent. That's good. Right, that's it. That's all that I needed to see. If we can loan him out a few times and hopefully he finds that showing great potential status through the summer, we'll be able to see it because he's reached the 60 overall. So his status is at the club since 2014 at this current moment. His valuation has moved up to £325,000. He's 21 years old, which means we've only got one more year of potential boosting with the status shown. Of course, you can boost the potential afterwards, but you'll have no idea where exactly he is at that moment in time. What I'm going to do July the 1st, I'm going to have a look at the free agents list, see if I can snap up a few bargains here and there and then we'll just concentrate on Ng again. Perry Ng must be confused. He gets loaned then he's called back a minute after he gets a minute on Sky Sports breaking news that he has joined. Then he's told he needs to return to crew. It's hard life for Perry Ng. I, I mean, structurally that's all over the place but I kind of get the drift. Homework or watch Perry Ng grow into a legend. Is that even a question? It's a contract offer accepted. Oh, of course, we're bringing in a right midfielder. Well, that sorts our problems. You know, on one of the FIFAs, Ben Garrett was, and I'm not joking, the worst player in the game. Overall-wise, he was the worst player in the game. Now he's first team for Pro Alexandra. There you go. Goals right there, lads. Transfer offer. Perry Ng. Here we go. Accept. Let's begin. Loaned out 325,000. Let's get him up to 350. 240. That's dropped off significantly. Oh, cuts the end chill. That's what I'm talking about. So, players. Long. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, Perry. You know you want to. 250. That's gone down again. Uh, we just need something more than 325. And he's just making it so awkward for us. 325. Oh, Jesus. He got him up to 91. 
Potential to be special. I even saw the status myself. How did he do it? The valuation is halted. It's not going anywhere. It's just 350. And then I know I'm going in the right direction at least. Right. Back out. I'm going to be really brave here. And I'm so sorry guys. We're going to load up this one. Which is in like January or February. We're going to bring him back from his loan. And train the fuck out of Perry Young. So what we got. Perry Young, one on two defending, obviously. I know this guy who got him to like 91 trained him heavily at the start. I mean, I, I'm not too sure. I just don't know. I just don't know where to go with this. The guy clearly knows how to train up a player a lot better than me. I want to know how to make Perry Young potential to be special. But then again, on the other hand, I want to find it out myself. Perry Ung putting in the shifts. Wow. Just give me the D. It's fine. It's cool. Uh, yeah. I don't feel violated. Nah. What are you talking about? Perry Ung up to a 65. Attention Ung. Attention Ung. Done. End season. Let's go. The Bejarano brothers, lads. I didn't even notice this was a thing. But apparently it is. Recall from loan, his valuation is £550,000. If we bring him back, it goes down to 500 Ugh, It's going to be a long night, lads. 625 that's gone up. Yes, back on the short-term loan list, higher than 625 please. 725 back on the loan list. He's still been at the club since 2014. No showing great potential. Come on, Perry. Squeeze it out of your anus, please. Shush. Shush. Back on it. Who's there? QPR. All right. Come on, guys. 725. Back. Oh, yes! Man's done it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Back on the short-term loan list. He's showing great potential. I knew I could do it. We're on the road now. A jump of 200,000 there. His overall's gone up slightly. He's still showing great potential. So the plan is, we can get him to a potential to be special in this window. I do feel, hopefully, the offers come in, which I'm sure they will. What we're going to do is leave him off the training for plenty of years now because he is a potential to be special player. He's going to grow exponentially until he's like 90 overall. He can do it himself now. We're going to have to wait anyway because if we train him up, if we boost his overall by training, maybe his strength doesn't grow. And strength is a massive part in what makes a centre-back huge and massive and an unbelievable overall. I think if we don't grow that strength, we'll never get him to a 99. There will be no chance, even though the 99 right now is still very, very small. We're probably never going to do it. Uh, 1.1 million. Uh, come on, Perry. Stop playing. We know you now. We found you out. You've now got showing great potential. There's no exit. Yeah, he is currently taking the Ung. We've been reloading this numerous times. His valuation stayed the same. We know because bringing back players, they go up one or two potential. They go down one or two potential. If the valuation stays the same, then you're in a bit of a pickle. However, we've got some help showing great potential now. So we've got that status. So what I'm, what I'm planning on doing, right... We're going to loan him out again. We're going to do a blind loan. Because we have that status, eventually it will move up to exciting prospect. It might take forever, but it will move up eventually. It will work. 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 That will do. Is an exciting prospect. I'm glad I went for it because if I didn't, then we would have been going to January with him showing great potential. That will be it nothing else in the summer transfer window but my goodness we've given Perry Young a new lease of life haven't we let's get to January now no injuries on Perry Young we've got to see him develop 
and let's finish the job. Oh, well, the first part of the job. The second part is to actually make him the best player in the world ever. How is it that bad? Like, the team on paper is not too shabby, and yet we're bottom of the table. I mean, to have a team mostly above 60, only one's below 60, and he's a 59. The 59 regen, should I point out, so very shortly you'll be 60. How is that? Bottom of the table. So we've made it to January, with Perry Young not getting injured once thanks to the beautiful world of reloading your save. He's now a 67 overall, the captain of the squad. Let's have a look. His strength, he's gone up two. Jumping's gone up by six. So, unfortunately, I have been, like, the worst person as manager for this club because I don't care I really don't care about results it was all about getting Perry Ng up to a ridiculous potential and then selling him off and then moving on myself loaned out on loan at Norwich bring back bring back 1.2 is showing great potential he's fallen down now back in 1.4 man they can't be doing this to me they can't be telling me that no one else wants to loan out Perry Young. We're not on track, I know we're not on track. I just want to loan out Perry Young. That's all that I want to do. It just needs one more loan, or maybe two. We've loaned Perry Young out to Shrewsbury. Bring him back might be potential to be special. It's an exciting prospect there. All right, let's try again. It took most of the January transfer window to get him back out on loan. I think he actually took three reloads as well. So it's it's been a wait for someone else to loan him out, but eventually it happened. Fingers crossed this is the moment for Ferry Young. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. Take a picture. <laughs> that is it. We've done it. First part done. Now we've got to get him out of this club. We've got to get ourselves out of this club and see if the May bump works. Doing it the stupid way, asking other teams to put in a transfer bid when clearly you can just trade him for another player, a worse player. The other team will happily accept Perry Young and then he'll be well on his way. I don't like Liverpool personally, but he's a Liverpool fan. He would be completing a dream if he moved to Liverpool. So I'm going to try and make this dream possible. Transfer offer I accepted. Oh my god, how much money do you want, mate? I uh, really don't. To be fair, it does not matter. It doesn't matter. Just, just join. I want to play in more prestigious leagues. Go away. You are so bad. Jordan Williams, you are so bad and you are holding this deal up. Perry Young's dream deal. You amount to nothing. Perry Young amounts to everything. He is ten times the player. Thank you very much. Shush. Jordan Williams needs to shush. Perry Young is off to Liverpool and we need to find a new club to manage. Our time with Crew Alexandra is up. I think the May bump does still exist because if, if it doesn't exist, then we've just got rid of Perry Young for no apparent reason. Search players. Here we go. It's not really a bump, is it? We need to keep Perry Young around. I think this is where we say goodbye to FIFA and the end of this episode of Goat Ung because we need to keep him in the squad. We need to grow him in this team instead of sending him out into another club to hopefully get growth spurts. No, he's got to stay here. We've also got to build up this manager rating. It's going to be interesting because we need to get to a very, very top level side before Perry Young reaches his massive heights. How are we going to do it? You'll find out in the next episode.